he's trying to find the best way to prevent it. But it's all, it also goes back to parenting too, though. Like for something to affect a child emotionally enough to do that. Um, that's where I think parenting has to come in too. Yeah. They have to have a strong mind to, to be able to, I mean, this is the new environment we live in. So, um, it's maybe a new curriculum, I guess, that you'd have to teach your kids on how to, how to deal with social media, how the, these words, there's nothing tied to them. It's, it's not, sometimes not real people. Like there's almost an education we have to give to the kids yeah. on how, how to handle this. Cause we did it with, you know, you do it with your kids in school, right? You're like, you know, if th- this guy's bullying you, you do this. We have all these check marks that you do, but we don't really do that with social media. Because now there's norms. You're like, oh, well, this is a fake account. This is the, it's uh, developing so quick that by the time you think you know something, it's it's changed already. So it's, I think maybe it's important if your kids are going to be on social media, whatever you're learning from there and kind of keep up with it, you need to funnel that to your kids so that they know where the red flags are. Yeah. And so when they read something that, like that, that's like, oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't get to them that much. But then there's that aspect of like talking to boys that they know or their kids in their school are on there. They get embarrassed on there. Maybe a picture gets leaked. And that's that's hard even for adults. 